Hi and welcome to ReplicaAirGuns.com and uh, I'm doing a video review of the Zaraki R1 2.5 inch 9mm blank pistol. It's actually a revolver as you can see. I'm not a big revolver fan. This is a really interesting blank gun and I kind of like the way it looks. I like the two-tone, I like the snub nose. As far as revolvers go, it's kind of unique and uh, I like the look of this one. It's a six-shot blank gun and this is the case that it comes in so it's not an, an overly large case but it fits the the pistol nicely it comes with the manual underneath which we'll get into it comes with a few accessories here take a look so there's a cleaning rod and this is a flare adapter that screws into the barrel for shooting off flares pistol comes with a manual and they call this a gas alarm as you can see here Some instructions let's take it out of the case here now I want to give you a, a comparison in size and I did a review on the Zeraki model 914 so let's take a look at these two guns side by side get a look at the sizes of them. So this is definitely a bigger pistol but the Zeraki model 914 is not a large gun um, but the the R1 is definitely a little bit larger so I wouldn't say it's big I wouldn't say it's small it's about a medium sized pistol. Now as far as the Zeraki guns go in Canada let's take a look at the other side here um, they are legal, they're not prohibited in any way, they're not considered replicas because I guess technically they don't closely resemble any existing guns in production and so they're considered uh, non-replicas which makes them legal to purchase in Canada and to sell and to own. Um, they're not uh, prohibited at all which is interesting. Um, there's another model that uh, I have ordered but I'm waiting um, for inventory and so as soon as there's inventory I should be getting this this gun it's called the model 925 and it's based off of this Zeraki model here the 914 but it's almost like a reskinned oozy-ish looking version of it um, with a little bit of a plasticky outside it's got like a polymer shell but um, it, it supports a 25 round magazine it's full auto again and it kind of looks like a little mini Uzi so hopefully that one's going to be coming the next little while uh, it might take a few weeks to a month because uh, because they're out of stock getting back to the Zeraki R1 it's a six shot revolver so let's take a look you can see here that there is room for six rounds again this particular gun it's going to be a little bit difficult but you can see down the barrel my camera doesn't autofocus because it's a digital SLR but you can see that uh, possibly down the barrel that uh, the barrel is essentially got a little bit of a sort of rod in there there's like a metal um, piece that stops anything that would potentially fire out of it which is good of course because we're not allowed to have real firearms here unless we get licenses for them in Canada now I like the two-tone colors this is either dub double or single action um, so it's fairly straightforward it's pretty well made in general um, it looks really nice it's a nice looking gun there's a few tool marks on it it's a weird I don't know if you can see it here but there's some weird discoloration there but overall it's a nice gun you know these things are going to get banged around a little bit especially if you're using it as a starter pistol I don't know if you can see there's a little tool mark there um, it's just you know just kind of I noticed that my other one's got a few little imperfections in it too but overall the gun is well made um, some of the finish could be slightly better the handle on this gun is a little bit hard it would be nice if it was more rubbery it looks nice but it's a little bit hard um, I'm just gonna load a couple rounds in it now these have been pre-fired pre-fired rounds so you can see that they've been pre-fired so that way I won't be shooting them off by accident in here but these are the 9mm PAK rounds and they um, they don't quite really fit in here so they're supposed to be they're supposed to fit snug and then you would eject them with this 
But what you're supposed to use are the ribbed version of these 9mm rounds and that way they would fit a little bit more snug and I don't know what, if the price is any different but these are the only um, blanks that I'm able to obtain here in Canada. Some more information on this gun, it's made in Turkey, it's by, made by a company called Attack Arms, spelled A-T-A-K, Arms. I purchased this pistol at CanadaArms.com and the shipping was amazingly fast. It took about two days to get to my house from the date that I ordered it. Very happy with the service that I got from them. And uh, I'm ordering my Model 925 from them, but again, I'm waiting for inventory to come in. Um, yeah, really neat. I have not shot this gun yet, but it feels really nice. It feels like it's going to be a lot of fun to shoot. It's got a very realistic look, finish, overall, everything about it. It's quite nice. Um, really, that's all I have to say. This, you know, this isn't really um, a heavy-duty review this time. It, it's a blank gun, so what more can I say? I, I, there's not a lot I can talk about um, as far as performance because it's a blank gun. But as long as uh, you know it fires the rounds when you shoot them, that's pretty much all you can expect from a blank gun. Uh, as long as it it's it looks good, it's well made. You know, it's hefty. Um, obviously, you're looking for something that looks realistic as much as possible when you're using a blank gun. Uh, really, there's not much more I can say. Um, approximate price is uh, it was about $125 roughly. Um, there was free shipping from CanadaAmmo.com. If you're in the States and you want to purchase this gun, there is a, I would say it's almost identical version, um, slightly different name brand. I, maybe they're made in the same factory but stamped with a different name, but it's another Turkish gun. And it's called, the name brand is called an Ekol, E-K-O-L, and you can get that gun in a similar, almost exact configuration um, from them through places like Amazon. Anyways, I'll put links on my website for those. So thanks again for, um, for visiting us at ReplicaAirGuns.com and stay tuned to the firing portion of this video where I'm going to be shooting some of these blank guns off down the road a little bit. Take care.